The changing climate is hitting agriculture hard, especially in Africa. It brings droughts and floods, pests and diseases. It means poorer crops, less food, and lower incomes. Climate change also accelerates land degradation. Two-thirds of the world's poor depend on the land and their livelihoods are at risk. This season we did plant, thinking that the rain will come in time. But to our surprise, the rain came very late. And you will find even our harvest is gone now to 40% only. To feed 9 billion people in 2050, global food production needs to increase by 70%. Here in 1975, these hills were covered with trees. And we used to have rain almost every single day of the year. And then people started cutting down trees for charcoal and firewood. And the forest has disappeared. And we do not have those rains anymore. Climate change has become a reality. But what if there was a way to grow crops and manage land with higher yields based on climate resilient systems while storing carbon in plants and the soil at the same time? Well, there is. It's climate smart agriculture. Examples of climate smart agriculture at work? Water harvesting captures runoff for better crops, helping farmers adapt to erratic rainfall in dry areas. On-farm trees protect crops from wind, provide nutrients through their roots and leaves, and are a source of fodder for livestock and firewood for the kitchen. Kaliandra is a fodder legume, uh, and I have it a lot planted all over my farm as a soil conservation device. It's planted along the contours to prevent soil erosion. Uh, you can see this one is here, the other one is up here, and uh, quite a number are also downstream. Uh, another benefit of Kaliandra, I also use it for as a, as a fodder crop, that is to, to feed my, my animals. Mulching and intercropping are practices that ensure more reliable yields. And zero grazed livestock can make intensive use of small plots, providing milk and returning manure to the land. The manure helps retain the moisture in the soil. So when we get little rain, the, the, the underground, the underground now has moisture. On sloping land, terraces hold soil, water, and nutrients in place, helping to stabilize production. Did you know that agriculture, soil erosion, and deforestation together contribute a third of total greenhouse gas emissions? Well, climate smart agriculture brings yet another benefit because healthy farmland captures carbon in vegetation and in the soil as well. If farmers increase carbon in the soil, they can even earn money through carbon credits. The World Bank is piloting this approach in Kenya. It's going to help a lot because first it's going to provide uh, essential service to totally new areas where we've not been. Secondly, it's going to be a learning point for for everyone who is concerned with, with carbon issues, really, because it's the first time it's going to incorporate issues of soil. So climate smart agriculture is a triple win. There's more food on the table, there are healthier landscapes that are more resilient to droughts and floods, and at the same time, plants and soil capture more carbon. Many farmers are climate smart already. In Burkina Faso, in China, in Brazil, in India, in Ethiopia, and in South Africa. Climate smart agriculture, it's a path to green growth. So now is the time to take action. You can make agriculture a part of the climate change solution.